At the Woodland Trust, we love trees and we understand the many roles they can play in the landscape. Through the Four Rivers for Life project, we'll be providing trees for planting in the priority catchments and expertise to help landowners and project staff get more of the right trees in the right places. This could be as strips, clumps or scattered trees to help buffer river banks or stream sides, or it could be as new areas or extended areas of wet woodland. All our trees are sourced and grown in the UK to reduce the risk of spreading tree diseases and we provide local provenance as far as we can to aid nature recovery. Whilst helping to improve the condition of our rivers, the trees will also be contributing to farm businesses. For example, by reducing soil erosion, by providing shade and shelter for livestock, or by helping to reduce the carbon footprint. We're looking forward to working with you. The team here at the Agricultural Research Centre are really looking forward to working with the team uh, and farmers across the Four River Area project. Trenedrych ar ôl natur, yr un i'n gofalu amdano ein hun ar hefyd, gan ei bod i gyd yn dibynnu ar afonir glan. I think it's critically important that we work together to restore our rivers. It has to be a priority for us to look after these rivers, to understand our impact on them. Rivers for Life is a fantastically exciting new European project being led by Natural Resources Wales and the Brecon Beacons National Parks delighted to be part of that project. Um, it really brings together a lot of the work that we're doing around the River Usk. The Usk Catchment Partnership is currently in its early formation. Um, we've been asked by the Welsh Government to establish a nutrient management board for this river to understand how we can look at the nutrient levels within the river and get those back in balance. What we've done as a national park is take a more of a catchment based approach and what that means is that we will be looking holistically at the recovery of the whole ecosystem of the river so that we can link it in with our peatland up upland restoration work where we're looking at how we can have better water retention and look at flood management, look at water quality levels as, as well as our carbon sequestration but also then working really really closely in partnership with our landowners and our farmers and our agricultural community to protect our water courses. We have um, a team who are expert in invasive species management and we will be contributing significantly uh, to that, that area of this work. Our wardens team and our ecologists work really closely together to think about accessibility and really connecting people back to their water. We all imagined that future where everybody was able to use the river, go in the river, enjoy the river, where it was protected, where it was providing our water, but where we valued it again, where we looked after it. Hi, I'm Philippa Pearson, Head of Water Services Science at Welsh Water. We at Welsh Water are absolutely delighted to be co-funding the Rivers for Life project. The project is going to be working on four key rivers that provide drinking water to the surrounding populations and will really help us with our ambition of safeguarding clean drinking water for future generations. We're really looking for, forward to working with the project team and all of those involved with the initiative as it moves forward. Four Rivers for Life is a wonderful opportunity to restore the natural form and function of these four special river catchments. The River Restoration Centre is the UK's specialist for river restoration, supporting restoration work like this for over 25 years. We want to see naturally functioning river systems that benefit the people who live near them and the wildlife that depends on them. We believe that our natural environment can be managed in a more sustainable and equitable way by working with the river's natural processes. Our role in this project is to support the NRW Four Rivers for Life project team with restoration experience, expertise, best practice and guidance gained from across the UK and internationally. In turn, through our network of river restoration practitioners, we will then help to share the successes from this project with others from across the UK and Europe bringing visitors to the project sites, arranging national events and updating restoration guidance. We're looking forward to working with the project partners and with the people who live and work close to these four rivers.